Hello everyone, I'm Peter. I'm here to talk about our latest product, an intrinsically safe tank alarm for hazardous locations. And it looks like this. Basically it consists of a float switch. Here's an example with the uh, body of it open. So it's a stainless steel float switch uh, constructed of entirely stainless steel wetted parts. And uh, what we have is a, a battery, lithium battery, that powers it. When the level is uh, high, or in this case, or it could be set to low level, so we'll just do that as an example. There's a bit of a delay, and there you get an alarm. Alternating buzzer and light. With, and the buzzer can be silenced, just like that. And the light continues to flash, and there's some different modes. In the default mode that I have it in now, it'll, the uh, buzzer will ring again in 30 minutes and it'll keep ringing every 30 minutes. And it's got a unique power saving feature so that it doesn't run out of batteries. If nobody's around, then it'll, uh, after one hour of uh, no, no, um, nobody touching the button or doing anything with it, it'll go into a low power saving mode. The battery should last for many years. When the battery does go low, it will uh, it'll give you a unique low battery alert. <clears throat> to insert the battery, it can be done in the field, which also makes this a unique product. So there it is. That's the battery cell right there. <clears throat> Here are the uh, five available modes, and they do different things. The tank fill mode is for filling up tanks, where maybe a fuel truck would fill up a tank. The driver wants to know about it. And then when the tank is full, you want to uh, silence the buzzer and then have everything quit until the next time that it's filled up, which might be months. Simply flick the dip switch like that, and now when we uh, we'll plug in the battery, and you can see the difference in the behavior. Two second delay. So now when I push the button, everything will quit. So that's the tank filling mode. Uh, the, the default mode is the um, 30 minute snooze alarm. Uh, there's some relay behaviors too, and I'll show you the relay. Uh, this device connects to, uh, to a PLC or, or uh, through an intrinsically safe barrier to other devices through a circular connector that looks like this. And then the mating part would go on the uh, outside of the conduit body and you make your connection that way. And if you, with the relay connected, there's different behaviors. There's, um, there's a delayed mode, so you can have a local alarm, uh, but then maybe after 15 minutes, if nobody uh, responds to the alarm, you can have it sent to a uh, uh, building alarm system or something like that. Uh, we have another mode where you can uh, automatic reset when the level uh, corrects itself, then the uh, light and buzzer and relay all reset automatically, or you can choose to have an operator, have, require an operator to push the button. This mounts very easily on a tank. This is a one inch uh, thread here, and we very often adapt it to a standard tank bushing like that, for, which brings it up to a two inch NPT thread. This one happens to have uh, the option of a tank guard, so it can be so no damage is going to happen to the float if it's used for tanks or drums even where it's taken in and out. I'll just sort of take that off to show you. It's very sturdy, uh, you know, almost uh, 100 or 0.1 inches thick. So um, nothing's going to happen to this uh, to the float when it's protected in this guard. So that's an overview of our of our uh, model IS-T tank fill alarm. There you can see the certifications label. On our website, you'll see all the different certifications, uh, CSA 22.7, UL 913, several IEC certifications. So that's all in a data sheet on our website. Thank you for watching.